Hello, it's that college football guy here with another video. I'm uh, here in Richland, Mississippi, a little south of Jackson to make my delivery this morning. Back to the schedule previews for everybody here. I'm uh, One I'm uh, on the works looking in because I started looking at some of the money that the conferences were making. I'm going to get into that one later. That's going to be a further down the week video because we got a lot of things to get to here. Take care of here. We're starting off. Big 12 is completed. Now we're on to the Pac-12. And we're starting off with now back-to-back -back conference champion Utah. Do they have a shot at winning three in a row? The Cam Rising still there. Head coach Kyle Winningham still there. I can't say they can't do it because for the lack of they've owned USC the last couple of years, which is rather surprising. Um, but first and foremost, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Everyone, please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. Helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. I want to know what you think about this, about their scheduling here. And subscribe to the channel. Almost at 400 subscribers, slowly but surely getting the crawl up to 1,000. Okay, so basically how these previews go. Unlike the ones we have with the four new members of the Big 12, because they had no frame of reference, we're going to compare non-conference schedules from last season and this season, see which one's tougher, and the full schedule from last season and this season and see which one's tougher. Now, obviously, I'm not going to count postseason on last season's schedule because that we don't have postseason for this season yet either, do we? So, first off, non-conference comparison for last season. We had at Florida, home against Southern Utah, and home against San Diego State. One Power 5, one Group of 5, one FCS, Power 5 on the road. This season, their non-conference games, three more. Home against Florida, at Baylor, and home against Weber State. Wow. Two Power Fives and an FCS. Um, yeah, this season's non-conference is a lot tougher. All right, let's look at last season's schedule in its, in its, in its entirety. All right, start of the season out of Florida, lost 29-26. A lot of people said, no, there's no way that you talk to lose this. It doesn't matter. You can think of this with the NFL. You travel from west to east or east to west, the time difference messes with you. I don't know how long you've got to prepare. It's still going to mess with you. First, you're going from 6,000 feet down to the swamp. That doesn't have an effect on you. So they lost that game 29-26. to Home against Southern Utah, destroyed them 73-7 to with a big win. Against San Diego State, won 35-7. to At Arizona State, 35-13. to 34-13, excuse me. Home against Oregon State, won 42-16. That's a big win against a good team. At UCLA, lost 42 to 32. So they had five, they had, you know, win, one four straight. Now they got another loss. Home against USC, 143 to 42 in a crazy game. If you need to check out the highlights of that one from last season, that was the, the, the end of the game was nuts. Then they got the bye week. At Washington State, 121 to 17, I believe it is. It's only 13. Home against Arizona, 145 to 20. Home against Stanford, 142 to 7. At Oregon, lost 20 to 17. So that was a close loss. And then at Colorado, the 1 and 11 Colorado Buffaloes, they won 63 to 21. Just and in the Pac-12 championship against USC, this time instead of winning by one, they beat them handily, 47 to 24. But in the Rose Bowl, they faced Penn State and lost 35 to 21. So they finished the season 10 and 4. Uh, that's a tough schedule they had there. So we see what they got here for this year's schedule. Start off at home against Florida. So now instead of now Florida, who's used to being in the swamps, got to travel to the thin air of <laughs> of Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake, and that's going to cause them to have a little bit of issues. Um, and they'll have problems traveling. Plus the fact they don't even know who their quarterback's going to be at this point. At Baylor, that's going to be a tough one for them because it'll be a travel decision. Versus Weber State, it's in-state FCS. They should have no problem there. Home against UCLA. At Oregon State. Hmm, that could be interesting. Then they got a bye week. Come out of the bye, home against Cal. Then they're at USC. They faced them at home and won them by one last year. Now they got to face them on the road. That's going to be a big difference here. Home against Oregon. That'd be a good, good game, too. Home against Arizona State. At Washington. Hmm, that'll be a tough one. At Arizona and finish the season at home against Colorado. I think Utah should have... Uh, it should be, unless they're severely banged up, they should be able to beat Colorado because Colorado's going to be banged up due to lack of depth. Um, 
which schedule is tougher? Top to bottom. Well, let's look at the five key opponents that they had from last season. You look at Oregon, you look at UCLA, you look at USC, you look at Oregon State. I'm trying to pick a common opponent that they played both seasons. And there's not much of an option here. I, mean, I, I might have to go forward because, well, the Florida game, because, I mean, I wouldn't call Arizona a tough competition. I wouldn't call Stanford. I wouldn't call Colorado. Um... You don't play Stanford again this year. You play you play Colorado again. Uh, I mean, the only teams that are common you play you play Arizona State, who was bad. Arizona. I guess we got to say Arizona then, because you don't really want to count for a non-conference game against Florida. But Florida, but Florida, Florida was bad too. So we'll do conference only. So it's going to be Oregon State, UCLA, USC, Oregon, and Arizona. That's the common opponents for both seasons. Of those games, looking at this real quick, three of the four were at home. Three of the five, I should say, were at home. Arizona was at home, SC was at home, Oregon State was at home. And now the same games are on the road. And UCLA was on the road, you lost by 10, now you got them at home. Oregon State, you beat them by 26 on at home, now you got them on the road. Uh, SC, you barely beat by one. You got them on the road. Oregon, you lost two by three, but you got them at home this year. Um, Arizona, you beat handily. You got them on the road. You got them on the road this time. So instead of you basically for conference swap out, so who it's different from last year's schedule versus this year's schedule conference games. You swapped out Washington State for Washington, and you swapped out Stanford for Cal. So that's pretty even, but Washington's definitely tougher. SC's on the road. Washington, you swap out for Washington State. They're on the road. Looking at this, I gotta say that this year's schedule, the non-conference and the full schedule, I think is tougher. Um, do they have a shot at winning 10 games again? I mean, this is not a schedule prediction. I'll do those later. But um, it's gonna be tough. I mean, it could be. They, got, they won eight games in the regular season and lost four. They won the... Excuse me, they won nine games regular season, won the Pac-12 championship to get them to 10 wins. Can they win nine games in the regular season again? Uh, I mean, you look at it, I mean, Florida game, they should win. Weber State, they should win. Cal, they should win. Arizona State, they should win. Arizona, they should win. Colorado, they should win. Past that, you got to earn it. So... Yeah, this is going to be a tough schedule for them. But I want you to let me know down in the comments what you think about this. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Um, as I said before on this one, tell me in the comments what you think about the video. Do you think that the non-conference schedule last season or this season, which one's tougher, and the overall schedule last season or this season, which one do you think is tougher? I'm leading right now the non-conference and full schedule. I'm leading both toward this season. Because having SC at home last year was big. Now you've got them on the road. You faced Oregon on the road last year and barely lost. Now you got them at home. That's a benefit. But you got you picked up Washington on the road, which is tough. Baylor on the road is going to be tough. Oregon State could be surprising there for some people. This is it. So, um, yeah, i got to say this schedule is going to be tougher. Like I said, let me know down in the comments. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. I forgot to mention this earlier. If you haven't done this already and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you have subscribed or are going to subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications bell so that way you don't miss out on the video I post. I try to post one every single day, sometimes two a day, sometimes none, unfortunately, because life gets in the way. But it's just the way it goes. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Hope everybody's having a safe Monday so far. It's a little rainy here in Mississippi, but not too bad. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Be safe, and please be good to each other.